The next demonstration shows the RDP Plus plugin for the remote desktop connection of Windows. I'm going to connect to a remote computer using MSTSC. And on the remote computer, I'm going to launch several applications which have rich graphics in them. And I'll show you how they work without the RDP Plus plugin and then with it. First application is a Silverlight web page, which contains a Silverlight application which has animation in it. Since remote desktop is quite slow, you can see that until I get the actual image from the application, from the Silverlight application, it takes a few seconds. I'm just gonna switch to another camera and you can see there's absolutely no response from the application during the animation itself. I can only see now in a few seconds only the final image of the animation. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press on scroll lock on the keyboard and then inside a window for which I wanna enable the RDP Plus plugin. You can see that the window has begun streaming and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before switch to another camera and you can see that the complete animation runs smoothly while it is streamed from the server to the client I can change the angle you can see the animation again When the animation stops, I can get the finalized image by clicking on the middle mouse button. And now the image is uh, the s exactly the same as the original. And you can see that it's finalized. I can switch to another camera now and streaming begins again. Now streaming is done in real time on the fly from the application. Everything that's rendered on the server is transmitted to the client in real time and highly compressed. Now the second application is a 3D renderer called Blender. I've prepared an, a 3D object in it. It takes RDP a few seconds to show the scene. Now you can see the object, I'm gonna try to drag the object from one place to another. Now this application is completely unresponsive, I can get almost no response from it. The whole window is an OpenGL window, which renders 3D content. Still, I'm trying to use the object, to use the mouse to, to, to move the object. There is a very serious lag in the response of the mouse. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Press scroll lock and then click inside the window. And now streaming has begun, and you can see that the motion is completely smooth now. Now that the window streams its content from the server to the client. I'm gonna run the actual animation now. now. And you can see the frames counting and the animation moving smoothly and you can see that the, the size of each frame is very very small I also here I can also get a finalized image by clicking on the middle mouse button 
I can stream content from any application on Windows, including GDI, GDI Plus, OpenGL Windows. They can all be uh, turned into a streaming Windows inside a remote desktop connection. And there is no need for any any applications besides remote desktop. The server and the client runs small DLLs, which uh, which enable this functionality. <coughs>